Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so I'm going to do this video just because I have these questions asked uh, on my posts. Uh, sometimes people ask me how to make quick adjustments, and I, I, I'll share with you the difference between being a good player, an average player, a good player and a great player and an elite player I uh, there's minor things or minor things that you need to understand how to how to utilize it in this game to be great uh, so if you want to be a great player uh, you want to jump from a good player to a great player you have to go ahead and utilize a lot of the functionality that's available in the system uh, in this game to make adjustments quickly now uh, most players uh, you're not going to be able to win a lot of games online if you run a lot of stock defenses because uh, players that have played this game long enough, player like myself, if someone just runs a complete stock defense against me, uh, I'm going to shred them eventually because I'm going to go pick up on their, their tendencies, especially if they spam the same defense over and over again. So one of the differences between a good player and a great player is a great player utilizes uh, adjustments to make it difficult for their opponent to make certain reads and lock down plays that they like to go and attack them with. Recently, had an opponent that I was playing against and he was using verticals as a base play and he was moving the ball down the field but eventually I was able to go and lock it up uh, just because uh, I was jumping into a different audible that I knew was going to take away a lot of his rates. So uh, I want to talk about one feature that uh, a lot of the great players do and a lot of the elite pay players do and it's one of the commonalities is, is uh, fast adjust adjustments. Now you can make fast adjustments with your defensive line by hitting your left uh, bumper button or your L1 button and you can see right here the little icon uh, comes down and you can actually spread your line to the left uh, like that left bumper slide them off to the right uh, and then you can go ahead and slide them uh, pinch them in and spread them out so a lot of the the most uh, popular blitzes right now you see a lot of guys actually spreading their, their line out another thing you can do too is uh, you can slant your guys to the outside, to the right, and off to the left side. But one of the things that a lot of the top players do is they do the quick adjust. Now, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of the the, the uh, uh, defensive line adjustments, you'll see the quick adjust. Now, uh, players that are good um, but never great are the players that actually manually make adjustments on on their players. So, in other words, they'll hook zone this guy up and do uh, put this guy into a, a spy, put this guy into a seam flat to make some kind of an adjustment. So they're doing some kind of a fag defense. Now, if you're someone that actually goes ahead and clicks on each one of the defenders to make a quick adjustment, you're never going to be a great player. And the reason why is that you can be good and you can win games, but if you're clicking around to make adjustments to make give yourself give a hybrid defense, you're always going to catch your man out of position. So the difference with the great players and the elite players, the players that are in a tournament level, they all use the quick adjustments to make adjustments to their to their uh, defenders. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the hot adjustments for the defensive line. If you double tap uh, the icon, which is very easy, it's just a real quick tap, uh, you can select one of these uh, three linemen to actually make some kind of adjustments. So I want to go ahead and take my uh, middle line, uh, uh, defensive lineman and actually put him into some type of a zone or a QB spy. Now the key to being successful with the quick adjustments is that you have to understand that there are certain position players, there are certain certain things, and you have to you have to pretty much have those memorized and know exactly what you're going to do. So I can go ahead and put my defensive uh, uh, defensive tackle into a spy. I can take uh, my left end uh, um, and actually go ahead and put him on man coverage onto the running back to take away any kind of slip screen. So, uh, or I can go ahead and just reset the play altogether. So this is just another way that you can you can use this type of a coverage. So you can see how I can actually go ahead and, and make adjustments. A lot easier where I'm actually cross mating defensive ends um, on the inside position players. I've got a spy over the middle. I'm actually going to be running like massive uh, 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 coverage right here against uh, against the CPU. And sometimes it's going to throw off uh, the computer a little bit because it's not going to be used to seeing this type of coverage. So you can see right there, I'm able to go and confuse the, comp uh, the computer right there and get an interception. So um, uh, with the with the linebacker positions too, uh, once again, you're going to be hitting the right bumper button um, twice, which is the R1 button. And you're going to go into the quick adjustments and you've got four linebackers. So... Uh, 
you need to settle in on a defense. A lot of the elite players all run one defense in particular. If you run one defense in particular, you can master these quick adjustments to be more effective. So let's say, for instance, you want to go ahead and take um, your outside left to stream linebacker and actually put him into a spy. Uh, you can go ahead and take your other linebacker and put him into uh, man coverage uh, with Burton. So I've got this type of an adjustment right here. Um, and now I can just go ahead and use her right over the middle of the field. Or, okay, let's just go ahead and take this guy and put him in a curl flat to, 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 to uh, protect that flat in an outside area. So now I've got basically a, a lineman that's actually going to play over the middle of the field. I've got ba that, um, that tight on position all locked up. And right there I'm able to go and swat a ball that just actually comes down to the middle of the field. So that's a quick adjustment that you can do. Now uh, I use... Um, a blitz uh, out of the 43 defense and I like to go ahead um, and uh, take my safeties and put them down in the hook zone. So to go, go ahead and, and, and make adjustments in your defensive backs, your four defensive backs, uh, what you would basically do is the following. Uh, you're going to hit your Y or triangle button twice. So once again, you bring it up, you see the Y, the y or triangle button icon where it says quick adjustment. Click it again, and now you're going to have your four defenders, uh, four defensive backs that you can use. Now if you're using a nickel package or some kind of a dime package, there's going to be more defenders, so there's more keys you're going to be concerned about, which would be the L1 and there are one. So that's why a lot of the elite Madden players is stick in that one defense so they can they can me memorize what they want to do. So one of the common tactics that a lot of players would do is they would cross man uh, defenders. Now the uh, safeties uh, basically are the only position uh, that actually can go ahead and cross man to the other 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 wide receivers on the other side of the field. Uh, but uh, if I wanted to go ahead and man up uh, the out left of screen defensive back, he can only go to Cohen and actual Robinson. So maybe I can double team my guys like that. So uh, it, it, this is where you're actually going to get yourself in a situation where you can actually go ahead and throw your opponent off in the reads because they're they're not going to they might go back to the huddle and see the type of defense you're in, but actually you're going to be showing them something different. So I'll, let me give an example. So what I could do is I I could quickly blitz my outside linebackers. I can go ahead and take uh, my middle my, my middle linebacker and actually put them in adjustment. I can take my defensive backs and actually put them into uh, quarters. And I can go ahead and take my outside guys and actually go ahead and put them in cloud flats. Now I've got a cover two look, but my opponent is expecting, uh, he's actually expecting some type of uh, uh, coverage, uh, which is, he's, he's expecting maybe some type of um, uh, a, a cover four coverage and actually I'm showing him a cover uh, a cover two and even if he goes into uh, this, he goes into uh, the, the huddle afterwards he's still seeing cover uh, cover four but I actually showed him a different uh, a completely different coverage conversely what you could do is you could jump into a cover three and you can turn that into a couple uh, a cover six uh, by making uh, making the, the the adjustments like that, so that's going to throw off your opponent uh, dramatically uh, if he's, he's he's doing something like that. So guys, I would recommend going into the quick adjustments and mastering this. Uh, if you ever want to be a great player or an elite player, you have to have this core core, core component down into your skill set. So um, I would go into the into practice now, master these different these pick one particular defense where maybe you've got some good pressure and some coverage, and then master these adjustments because you'd be able to make these adjustments very quick. I had a, um, a subscriber actually comment to me like, "How did you make that dual hook assignment so quick um, on that uh, safety blitz defense?" I've just got it. I got it down. Uh, mechanically i've got the motor skills down mechanically i can make these adjustments really quick so once again my subscribers thank for support guys I, I apologize for you for my long time subscribers this is something for noobs but i think it's going to definitely help you so thank you for your support and until next time